All right, welcome back to the channel. I think Mr. Guns and Gear posted this, and wow, truly wow. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. By the way, hit that like, subscribe, share my videos because you guys know the deal. I need you guys' help. Click that like and share my video. Share my video with somebody you love, and check it out. This is what you're going to see right here. This is what you're going to see right here. This guy, man, this is guy is insane so let me kind of like break it down to you guys right here there's a couple workers in here this guy's picking up some food it looks to me like it's like i don't know like a pizza place or something who knows and there's this guy this guy is gonna make a mistake that i have spoke about here in the channel don't play with your gun don't touch your gun don't caress your gun i know you like her i know you guys are buddies i know that you love her very much but leave your gun in the holster now the second thing that she made a or he made a mistake on not having the proper holster you got to have the proper holster one of the biggest thing that a holster does by the way is probably quite simple take notes on this people take notes on this a holster is going to retain your pistol to your body right the holster is attached to your body the pistol is inside the holster and that holster is going to retain that pistol inside the holster to your body that's one thing Second thing, a holster protects the most vital thing in the entire gun, the trigger guard. So you don't shoot yourself. That's just how it is. When you get a holster, when you pick a holster, make sure that the trigger guard is covered. That's why I don't like those Versa whatever holster. Make sure the trigger guard is covered. Obviously, if you carry condition one round in the chamber, you should. Make sure it's covered. And two, Make sure that it's returned to the holster. So the holster's with you. So again, here's the thing that I'm going to share here with you guys. And this is what he's going to do. Uh, and I'm going to play right here. Oh, what? What just happened? What just happened? Oh. So he put his hand on his pocket. You see the hand on the pocket right there. He's doing whatever he's doing, right? Caressing his pistol, touching his pistol, maybe talking sweet to her. And he just shot around. What an idiot. This guy is an idiot. Completely, 100%. He made an idiot mistake. And I'm going to tell you, it's not the first time I see this. I have witnessed people having NDs multiple times in the military and in fact i witnessed a guy that actually shot himself on an nd i mean this is a real deal this is a real deal and that's kind of what he did and now he's gonna play it out right he's gonna play it out which it was to me it was quite interesting how he was able to play this out because everybody's like what happened this guy's like what happened and he's kind of like oh i don't know oh i don't i don't i don't know Let, actually let's listen to it Oh. I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> Maybe the guy who walked out, the other guy's asking, did he slam the door? And then one guy's like, oh, that's too, he's going to say this, it's too loud. Uh, for that to be the door, right? And eventually he's gonna leave. So again, I don't know what happened to this guy, but now he's getting his pizza right here, and he just left. I mean, he just shot around. He just left. Interesting, really, really interesting. So here's the deal, guys. You gotta take responsibility over your firearms. You gotta take responsibility out of your equipment. This is not a game. You are representing the second amendment and when you see things like that this misrepresent our second amendment and some of the guys are you know sometimes i get accused why are you playing this well we have to talk about this because you know what the reality is that some of you guys are making that, those mistakes and you have to understand that a mistake like that could kill somebody but not only that a mistake like that makes us look like idiots so don't do that don't do that seek out some formal training if you need training Understand that you have a tool that is for self-defense. It's not for you to caress her. It's not for you to do weird things with it and have the proper equipment. How many guys buy a, a $600 gun with a $20 holster? Buy the right equipment for it so you don't have that issue. 
I hope this guy learned from his mistakes because truly it, it, it's unbelievable. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. And as always, God is in control.